welcome to our lesson for today. Mm-hmm. So, remember last time we talked about how David had come back to Jerusalem mm-hmm. after the defeat of Absalom. Mm-hmm. But he was still very very sad mm-hmm. because Absalom his son was dead was now and dead, he didn't yeah. want him to die. Yes. But he had come back and now he was ruling over Israel again as their king, the king of the whole of Israel. But he was now very old as in time passed and now David was very old and very, he could very barely old. see he could barely do anything and all he could do was just to stay in his bed covered up and sleeping because he was very cold imagine he, he couldn't even he cold. couldn't go to battle mm-hmm. he couldn't see any of the subjects who came to complain yes. to him he couldn't see anyone or do anything yes. he was just in his bed sleeping in his blankets because he was covered. very very cold yes so now mm-hmm. everyone outside of david's room mm-hmm. was talking and planning and plotting yes, because and asking themselves who will, who will be, be the, the next king? king because everyone knew that David was about to die because now he's very old so we need another king we need so who is going king. to be the next king who is going to be the other king so remember David had a son called Absalom who died so after Absalom Adonijah Adonijah was, was the, the next, next oldest son of David yes, yes. so everyone thought Probably Adonijah is the next thing because he's the oldest son of David that is remaining. And then um, Ab- Abiyatha, Abiyatha, the priest, yes, and, and then Joab, Joab, the general. David's general. Yes. So those two were on Adonijah's side. They supported he Adonijah. Here, he was good looking, yes. he was ambitious. So they yeah. supported Adonijah's and they wanted him to be, be the king. Next, yes, and they wanted him to be the next king. Yes. And so Adonijah had a plan and he thought... Mm. I, I think I should be crowned king right now. Yes, and so he organized. He say, he said that he was going to organize a feast, feast and then call people and all his friends, and then he would be crowned king immediately. Yes, after the feast, now they would proclaim uh, Adonijah, Adonijah as, as king. king. But yes. then his friends told him, "Don't invite your, your brother Solomon." Solomon. Nathan, mm-hmm. the prophet, yes. Os- and Zadok, yes. the priest, said, so don't invite, don't those, invite three. those three. You yes. can invite everyone else, but, but not those three. those three. Because yes. his friends knew that Nathan, Nathan and, and Zadok, Zadok were supported Solomon's Solomon. claim to be, to be the next king. king. Yes. yes. Now, Solomon, Solomon was the son of Bathsheba. Mm-hmm. And we all remember Bathsheba. So David had promised Bathsheba that yes. Solomon, Solomon would, would be the next king, king after him. Yes. yes. So when Nathan had these plans, he, he went to Bathsheba. To Bathsheba. Yes. And, and and Nathan told Bathsheba, "You have to go to David and tell him everything that is happening. You have to remind him of his promise to you that your son is going to be king. You have to tell him that he has to crown um Solomon as the next king." Yes. And so when Bathsheba had what Nathan had to say, he she went to where David was and then she bowed down low and then she told told David the whole thing that was happening and she told David you have to crown Solomon as king remember you promised that he would be the one to succeed you or the one to be the next king after you yes Mm -hmm. and then Nathan came and he told David the same story that Bathsheba had just told him Mm -hmm. so then David looked at Bathsheba and he he promised her Mm -hmm. do not worry Solomon is going going to be the next king king, he promised then he told Nathan Mm -hmm. take Solomon and put him on Mm -hmm. my royal Royal dog Yes. and lead him out through the, the city, city and then have Zadok mm-hmm. anoint him as, as the king. next king yes. anoint him as king and then bring, bring him, him back, back to the, the city, city blowing the trumpet. trumpet and then announce Solomon as the next king yes. and Nathan was very happy and he was very quick to do what the king had ordered so Nathan took Solomon put him on the royal donkey, took him out through the city, and then they went to Zadok and Zadok, and Zadok anointed Solomon as the next king, and and then then they they went back to the city, and they sounded the trumpet, and everyone had, including Adonijah and his friends who were feasting, ready to crown Adonijah as king. So when Adonijah and his friends had the trumpet sound, they They knew knew that Solomon had had been crowned as king, and David's own Order. orders. Yes. Mm-hmm. So after they knew this, now their plan 
plan was already yes, spoiled. Their plan was already spoiled. But children, we need to realize that it is God that chooses leaders. It is God that appoints leaders. So if God promised promised to appoint someone or wants to put someone in authority, then we have to follow what God wants. We may have our own thoughts or our own ideas, but always at the end of it all, it is the plan of God that will still stand or that will succeed. So that's our lesson. Now we are going to sing our song. So let's all stand up and sing this song. So we've just talked about how Solomon became king. Even though Adonijah, his brother, was trying to take it away from him, David made sure that Solomon was king. And that is because it was God's plan for Solomon to be the next king. Yeah. So if God is for you, nothing can go against yes. you. No matter who it is or what it is, yeah. it will always come to pass if God has made that plan. And this is a song we all know. So everyone stand up and help us sing this song. If God is for me, who can be, who can be against me? God is for me, who can be, who can be against me? He is my strength, he is my friend forever. God is for me, who can be, who can be against me? Who can be, who can be against me? about how Solomon was anointed as king because David made sure mm -hmm. that he was king. So even when his brother Adonijah tried to take to proclaim himself king before, he was not able to. Yes. So to remember that Solomon is king, we have here our craft. So with mm -hmm. our craft, we're going to show how Solomon was anointed with oil mm -hmm. and then the trumpets were blown so that now everyone knew that Solomon is well, king. king yeah. So we have this big manila paper and this is where we're going to put our Solomon and how he was anointed. Mm -hmm. We have a jar here. So all we did is we took paper and we drew a jar and then we cut out its shape. Mm -hmm. Then this is oil. This is just ribbon that we made wavy so it can look like oil pouring out. Then yeah. this is the trumpet that was blown to show that Solomon is king. Mm -hmm. And then this is Solomon while he's being anointed. Yes. So we're going to arrange all of these and we're going to stick them. So what happened first was that he was anointed with oil and then the trumpets were blown. So that's how we're going to arrange it. Mm -hmm. But first we need to color everything. So take your Solomon and let's start by coloring Solomon. So let's give his clothes, I'm going to color mine blue. So there we go, this is Solomon in his blue outfit. The next thing we need to color is we need to color the trumpet. So I'm going to make my trumpet orange. Okay, there we go. Now both our items are big and bright and colorful. Last thing I'm going to color is my jug. Because my paper is brown, I think I can color my jug peach just to make it look like it has color. 
Okay, so now everything is colored. It's time for us to create our picture. Mm -hmm. So move everything to the side. And at the top of your paper, I want you to write Solomon is king because that is what our lesson is about today. How despite everything, Solomon still became king. And this story, we find it in 1 Kings. Chapters 1 and 2. So Solomon is king and we find this story in 1 Kings chapter 1 and 2. So after I write this down, we need to create our picture. So take your jar and staple it in the corner right above here. And make sure it's facing down because for the oil to pour onto Solomon, it needs to be facing down. So just staple it at the top. And the next thing we need to put is we need to place Solomon right underneath this. And then what is happening? Oil is pouring from the jar onto Solomon. So take your jar and put the oil on top and then just staple it. far in but just staple the oil onto your jar so now oil is pouring onto Solomon I'm going to cut my oil off a little bit it's covered in all of Solomon we can't see him anymore <laughs> he's full of oil it's full of oil so now oil is pouring onto Solomon And because I don't want anything to move, I'm just going to staple the oil to Solomon also. So oil is pouring onto Solomon. And after we've seen oil pour onto Solomon, that means he's been anointed as king. So the next thing we need to do is have the trumpet. So the trumpet you can place anywhere, but we just need to remember that after he was anointed, Solomon was taken back to Jerusalem. Trumpets. And then the trumpets were blown and that is how everyone, including Adonijah and all of his supporters, that is how all of them knew that Solomon had been anointed as king by David's command and now Solomon is king. I'm just going to make this all look flat. So there we go. Now we have our picture. Now our picture tells us that Solomon was anointed with oil and then he became king. And everyone knew that he was king because the trumpets were blown mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. So there you have it. And so we have our pictures. Yes. So Solomon was anointed, and then the trumpet was blown, and everyone knew that Solomon is now king. And finally, Solomon is king. We have another king in Israel, <laughs> a third king for that. So Solomon was the third king in Israel. Yes. So that's our lesson today and that's our craft day. Until next time. Bye. bye.